we have um, a little bit of something to watch from the show. Well, while these cook, we yep. have a clip from um, the show and from Lucinda's Mad Hungry show. Watch this. We're on the set of Mad Hungry, my home away from home. And when I looked at the set for the first time, I burst into tears because I thought, oh my gosh, they not only got my home environment, but this is where I'm gonna work every day. I get here at the studio about 7.30 and then on set by 9.15, 9.30, fully dressed and ready to go. Wait, 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 you're kidding. It's like right now, okay. We shoot a whole half hour show before lunch. And then we come back and we do the whole same thing again. And if we're lucky, you know, we're finished shooting by 7 o'clock. And it requires good humor. <laughs> Why are you following me? Am I supposed to say something else? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> My kitchen sort of spills out into the dining room and the living room, and I like it that way. This part of the set, which I love, is something I actually use a lot. Like, if we've finished a segment and I come over here, I'll sit down and, you know, do the crossword puzzle. I have photographs that are in the exact place in my kitchen. And every time we're about to roll camera and I look over and I see a picture of one of my boys or my husband, it makes me feel so good that that's really what the show's all about. I wasn't nervous the first day. The most nerve wracking thing, frankly, was that I had my three sons there for my very first segment. Calder is 23, Miles is 19, and Luca is 16. While it was a little nerve wracking to have them here, it made me feel Good, it made me feel normal. And in the end, it came out great. Plus we were making fried chicken, so what's not to like about fried chicken? I think it's important to have a show about the family meal. Most of us are on budgets, most of us have to cook, and we don't really know how to do it day in and day out. On the show, we show you how to do it so it's not burdensome. You guys, don't you agree? If there's food like this, you're coming to the table, you're mm, staying here. Absolutely. You're bringing your friends over. That's what you want. You want the people you love to come to your dinner table. So cook for the people you love. Mm. Teach them to cook for themselves, and they will pass it on. Mom, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for the help. so good.